welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing great if this is the very first time you're coming across my video you're highly welcome my name is mary quincy i'm based in lagos currently i'm here at the real estate my family house and um if you are new to my channel please hit the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and to my other subscribers you guys already know now love nano lumen that's love nano lumen and um today's video like i'm going to be showing you guys how to make fufu from scratch as like apple ibo rubi they call it apple general name is fufu mm -hmm. like when they put the cassava when they pay the cassava when as like it's from scratch so you guys know that the fufu you'll be enjoying mm -hmm. you know exactly how they make it i hope you enjoyed the video Please, if you do, don't forget to give us a very big thumbs up, like, comment, share this video. There are a lot of people out there, Lagos State children, they don't know how they used to be. <laughs> fufu. Someone was asking me that, what they used to make fufu. This is cassava for some children in Lagos. I don't know, that might be watching this video right now. Most of them, they don't know what they used to making fufu and Gary, they've been enjoying. Even Gary Jebu, a lot of them like Gary Jebu. So, they don't know what they used to making all those things. So, this is cassava. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make fufu from scratch. And this video is going to be having part two. That's how to make gari from scratch. And um, this is, this cassava, this is big one. There are some that is bigger than this. And there are some that smaller than this. John, bring down that you already peeling. Let them see. Yeah. Here is my cousin. This is, um, you see, if you guys notice, this one is smaller. Yeah, so we are busy cleaning the cassava right now. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'll be showing you guys step by step how to make it. And other children out there, please help us to share this video. Tell them to share the video now. Share the video. <laughs> help us to share this video with your friends and loved ones. Please other subscribe. <laughs> so that those students out there that not only know what they use in making food, they will see that, yeah, it's cassava they use in making Thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later. Bye. Uncle, be careful. Uncle is going out now. I'm supposed to follow them, but because I want to show you guys how to make the now. Um, so I will not follow them again. I want to show you guys how to make the food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Grandma is at the backyard now. This is the. Some of them is still inside the pack. I mean a uh, sack. Abigail, please let me hold this money. Some of them is still inside the sack. These are the small, small ones. I told you guys. Some of them are small. Why some are big? So here, Grandma is playing the cassava now. Here is my niece, Abigail. Abigail, since this is what you've been peeling, this small one. <laughs> they are there playing. Um, so guys, watching it, I'll be putting it inside drum. Well, I'll be showing you guys that later. So, you guys should watch as you feed the cassava. Grandma, Grandpa, Oh, funny, baby. So now guys we are going to wash the cassava now we are done peeling the cassava so it's time to wash it after washing the cassava you can use this type of drum but we already put it here so the one for fufu 
um, the fufu now we'll wash it and we'll, it's inside this drum right now. So we'll cover it. Some used to stay for like three days. Some will stay for like four days. So it's inside here now. If you notice, now the cassava is still very strong. Did you see this? Did you see that, guys? The cassava is still very strong. In the next three to four days, if you come back, you will see the cassava will be soft, very soft. So that time is ready to wash. As in, you see, it's still very, very strong. So three days time, we'll come and we will check it. Guys, good morning. This is four days later. Four days later, we'll put the cassava inside the water, and. <laughs> I'm so angry right now. This is grandma's clothes I'm wearing. Grandma woke up before me and she already removed the fufu from the water. Because the woman that wanted to wash it said she'd be coming early. So she woke up very early to remove the fufu from the water so that the woman that will wash it will immediately she come, she will just start washing it immediately. So I now video the part where she was removing the fufu from the drum. But all the same, I'll still show you guys how they'll be washing it and all of that. So, hmm, that's the only part we are going to miss in this video. So, that's the food that, is, that I just stay in my hand now. I went to meet grandma and I was so angry. So, I hope you guys will still understand. That's not better, I just woke up. Yeah, see you guys. Let's continue with the video. Where well, we we'll put it four days ago. And fufu was inside, so it's still very strong. But now, Ma have offloaded the whole of the fufu. So, here is it now. It's very, very, very soft now. You guys see. This one is not that soft. That's the reason why she not this. This is the fufu now. Oh, Grandma got the shoe down. Here is it, guys. This one is not that strong. I mean, it's not that soft. That's why it's like this. This is um, the fufu right now. So they'll be using this basket to wash it with the water inside the drum. I'm going to wash the fufu with this aqua. Um, sorry, with this asset. So you see, this is how they'll be taking it. Like this. Mm -hmm. Put it inside the water. And they'll be washing it like this. Hmm. Amazing. See guys, this one now is the top. They use this one for those elubo, yeah? Mm, they use for those elubo. You guys, it's so now yeah. they washed the fufu. Now, this one is the shark. They'll be doing it like this until the fufu will finish. This one that is inside this basket that you guys are seeing now is the one that when they dry it, they will use it for mala. For those of you that have been eating amara, you don't know what they use in making it. This is how they used to do it. It's the shaft that, is, that used to come out from the fufu that they use for the amala. So the one that is entering here now, later they will be bringing it out because it just, it will settle down. Then it will now turn to the fufu, the fresh fufu. But now the one inside here, they will, they will dry it here. And when it's well dried, they will as in take it to the machine blend it it will now be that amala floor so this is how they used to do amala too it's very very simple okay, after they finish washing the fufu they will put it inside this sack so that the whole of the water will come out this like some hours later I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to end this video here how to prepare the fufu the video will be coming up next after this one I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give me a very big thumbs up like comment help me to share this video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and I'll see you guys again in my next video